Hello there everyone, my name is Rose Monkey and welcome back to Life is Strange. We're gonna go and talk to Frank in his van, the little druggy dude, and see if he can give us some information about some of the stuff that's been going on in Arcadia Bay. Wakey wakey Frank. Well I say wakey wakey, it's not really morning but, you know, hi. Oh look, the Wonder Twins. You should have come alone. She's my partner. Yeah, we're bodyguard. So let's get to business. Where's my fucking money? Uh... I... I don't have the money. Yet. Oh, really? Then why did you text me that you did? Because what? I wanted to tell you in person. What did you tell him oh, that I'm for? I'm touched, Chloe. Now why are you losers really here? <sighs> we just want to ask you some questions. You have some serious lady balls. <laughs> no. <laughs> Jesus, okay, okay. But I'm not getting you high. Frank, we're not here to get high. No, you don't look like the type. Not like Chloe here. So what do you hardy boys want? Just the names of some of your clients. Oh, is that all? Oh, well, why didn't you just tell me? How about I just give you the keys to my RV while I'm at it? Um... Yeah, you kind of already did, but I'm not going to say that. Listen, Frank, I'm sorry to be such a nuisance, but this is important. Yeah, yeah, everything's important these days. But I can tell you're not bullshitting me. There's no time for that, Frank. I, I just need a little bit of information. Yeah, yeah, well, it always starts with just a little. And Chloe here knows all about that, don't you? Come on, Frank, this isn't about me now. Yeah, right, okay. Chloe, calm Both down. Both of you are giving me a headache. No deal. Frank, we didn't come here to fight. This is so much bigger than us. Oh, yeah, you didn't come here to fight. A day after, you pulled a fucking gun on I me. didn't shoot it. I... I am so sorry about that. It might be the dumbest thing I've ever done. And I've done a lot of dumb things this week. Finally, I believe you. But don't ever aim a gun at anybody unless you intend to kill. Although you don't look like you could kill a bug. That's true, she doesn't. I, I try not to. And I never would have pulled the trigger. I was just... D dude, she was scared, alright? You pulled your blade on me! We were all freaked out, now we're all cool. Please? Okay, we're cool for now. But my dog isn't. And if you try any shit, he will bite your head off. He's done it before. What, a whole head? I'm only here to talk. I wouldn't mess with your dog. Shit, you wouldn't have time. You like dogs? I'm gonna go with dog rescue. I'm trying to I can't remember what I found out about snooping around in his van and what I didn't find out about snooping around in his van, but I know that it was the police officer that told me about the dog rescue. Of course I do. I heard you even rescued a bunch of fight dogs. That's amazing. No, all right, it was just the right thing to do. I couldn't stand to see those poor animals treated like, like slaves. That's how I came to own Pompadou. That's very cool, Frank. Your dog is lucky you came along. Maybe we can focus on rescuing Rachel now? Rachel? Is that why you're really here? Yes, we're so close to finding her now, Frank. We need all the help we can get now, especially from you. You and Chloe do not know Rachel like I did, and I couldn't even help her. You're in way over your heads. Why don't you just go play in your clubhouse? Hmm. We've already talked to him about the bracelet. The photo. Nathan told me about the photo. And I asked him about that in the cafe, and he was fine then. So I think that's a safe assumption. Rachel said she gave you one of her favorite photos. That proves how much she cares. Chloe, don't mess this up. And you care. That's why you have to help. How the hell did you know about that photo? That's my favorite picture of her. I can look at it any time and she'll always be there for me. I can't stand not knowing where she is. Not hearing her voice or her laugh anymore. Oh. We can change all that. It's up to you. 
Help us find her, Frank. Please. We really need your client list. Did I get it? Well, if there's a chance in hell, you two dorks can find Rachel. Ah, oh, good. Yeah, I'll take it. My dog isn't barking at you, so I guess that's a good sign. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, thanks, Frank. Seriously. It's hard to take you characters seriously, but I want to. Good luck. Okay. Oh, well. I was really that was cool. Frank gave up the code to help us. Yeah. Rachel must have seen something good in him. Where did oh she's over there? I was really hoping that he would just give us the stuff and we wouldn't have to do something like break into his van again or something. Not that I think we'd manage it a second time round. He doesn't like as much. Oh, we're back at Chloe's. Okay. Is that Nathan's phone taped to the board? Chloe, are you okay? I'm glad things worked out okay with Frank. Yeah. It's nice to have one less enemy in Arcadia Bay. I wouldn't say that. You Maybe. still owe him a lot of money. Okay. We better focus on this board and start tying these clues together. Wait, Frank's texting me now? Oh. Oh, now he wants to get me high. Okay. So. Sorry, we got Frank on our side without using you. Was there an option to use you? I'm glad I didn't find that. Like I've already said before, I'm not really a violence person. So. Okay. Hmm. There's still four photos to get. I don't think any of them are going to be in here again, so let's have a look. Oh god. This is... this... oh, okay. Thanks to David's own investigation, I should be able to find out what Nathan did during the party's week. Is that... Oh, I'm gonna have to go with that one. And that one. And that's all she wrote. <sighs> Please let me find some clues about Nathan in here. Great. Now, how do I find out which car is Nathan's to match the coordinates? Well, it's the red one, isn't it? Okay, so this is Nathan's car. So we want that one. Is it this one? Those two. And okay, this is just sad, Max. This one. Oh yes, now we're finally getting somewhere. Chloe, let's plug in these numbers and see if they lead to an actual address. Aye aye, Captain. Here we come, Rachel. Okay, so that's that part sorted out. Frank's clues. Let's look at Frank's drug deals during the week of the party. Okay, start with this one. Oh, Frank's account book. But the client names are encrypted. So... Frank is for sure the local dealer, but... I, I doubt Rachel was carrying... Maybe Rachel no. took a road trip with Frank, but she did come back. So, yeah. what happened to Rachel after this? She dumped Frank, but 
I don't think he would hurt her. No. Rot must stand for Rottweiler. That does fit Nathan. Rotten. He's given dog names to all of them. Chloe's a bulldog. Like it. What's this? There's no doubt she loved him in some way. Okay, so I'm guessing it's those two together? Yes, the game is on. Now, talk to us, account book. Tell us everything. This is fun. Let's see if... Okay, Max, remember these names and see how Nathan fits in with all this. So Nathan's the Rottweiler. Frank sure is keeping his customers satisfied. He could open a store. Nathan's on that one. Huh. Two deals with Nathan on the same day? Party supplies, no doubt. That one? I'm getting a contact high just reading this. Nope. Everybody in Arcadia Bay must be high. Nope. That if Frank applied this kind of detail to his life. Who am I? This one? I wonder what dog name there we go. would have given me. Those three. Oh, yes. These are all the times and places for Frank and Nathan's deals. Uh, that's it, Max. Last but not least. Okay, what are we finding here? Tell me. The SIM card? Couldn't hurt to give this pin code a whack. This is the Vortex Club party where Nathan drugged Kate. Did he do the same thing to Rachel at another party? Holy shit. Nathan is seriously unhinged. But those numbers might be useful. If there is a dark room, we better find it. It's a good thing Chloe slipped all these files on her flash drive. True. There's a lot of numbers in here. This makes no sense, Max. It's more numbers we're looking for, isn't it? So, that one? Okay, Max. Let's blow this code up and go home. Roger that. Let's start hacking. Uh... Okay. I'm severely certain it's not one. Oops. Bad code. I'm gonna rewind after every one. 9535, five, perhaps? Bad code. Rewind. Try again. I'll check out the numbers here. Bad code. I'm assuming this is going to be like the computer where it logs you out after 3988? Where it logs you out after a number of wrong dials. Oops. Bad code. Oops. Oh my god. Shut up, Nathan. Oh! 
Okay, there we go. Uh, so that's um, Frank, I'm assuming? Yes. This is all about Nathan trying to score for the Vortex Club party. Cool. Nathan was jonesing hard the night of the party. He didn't have enough drugs. <laughs> Drug dealer drama. God, Nathan. You're out of control. Yeah. So it was you. Now I can officially call you a psycho stalker. Is this from Nathan's father? That's brutal. Hmm. Wow. Okay then. Bloody Take hell. Breath, Max. Go through all this data and you can find out where Nathan took Kate after the party. Can I? Jeepers, right. So this infamous party was the fourth. October the fourth. Tenth of the fourth. Hmm. I don't know what that is, but I'm guessing that is what was potentially used on Kate. So I'm going to click that. That one. Was Frank meeting Nathan at the junkyard? That beach is like Frank's main office. I know Nathan wasn't looking for Bigfoot in the forest. Somebody is stocking up on gas. Why? 9.54. No, it was later than that. No doubt that Nathan stays in his dorm room. So he could be hiding clues there too. It wasn't there. Not much out there. There. Chloe, this is definitely the place. Let me dig up some more clothes here. Nope. Nothing, Max. There's nothing here. Just some shitty old barn. Let's keep searching and find out who owns this haunted barn. I'm on this. Hold on. Prescott family? Somebody named Harry Aaron Prescott. I'm shocked. <laughs> Should we... Call the police? Fuck that. You know the police here are like Nathan's private security, right? That's yep. so messed up. As you've noticed, this whole town is messed up. We can't trust anybody. Except each other. So we have to go out to that farmhouse by ourselves. Oh, great plan. I was afraid you'd say that. We could call Warren since he kicked Nathan's ass. It's just the two of us, nobody else. And I'm not scared at all. You have the power. I got the power. I feel like we're this close to finding Rachel. We have to find her, Max. We will. But remember, my power isn't infinite. We still have to be careful. Do you hear, Chloe? Yes, sir. Okay, then. To the barn we go. I really hope I don't find a dead body out here. Well, this does look like the kind of thing that would have one of those funny windmill things. Holy shit, this is scary. I know, but we're here. 
Let's go find the best way in. Whoa, check this out. Fresh tire tracks. Dude, somebody was just here. <laughs> we need to get in that barn. No, we don't. We need to take photos first. Is there anything? Watson, we can safely assume that this ancient vehicle is not our suspect. Squazzle! What's to do, Warren? <laughs> Oh, wait! I missed a bit here. Um, thanks for pulling me off, Nathan. Yeah, you didn't want to stoop to his um, level. No, I have to calm myself down. Oh, those two totally have to hook up by the end of this game. I swear. Oh, here we go. Right. Aw, come back, Birdie. I wasn't finished. I'm getting good at this. Alright, what was the next one? Uh, a skeleton holding a skateboard and an eagle foot. I don't know what's going on with the bar thing. Um. Oh! Hey Chloe! Think I found the way in. Hmm. These are thick tracks and definitely fresh. Nathan's SUV? Possibly. Okay, she's just poking around down there. Open, god damn it! Open! Such a secure barn when you can creep in through a hole in the wall. I found the front door. Come on. The front door. Oh yes, Maximus rules. God, this is way too Blair Witch. I have goosebumps all over. Come on, Supermax. Hey, check out this old chest. A little louder, Chloe. Jeez, that is ancient. Jackpot. Old shit. No, no, no. look closer. Hmm. Harry, Aaron, Prescott, and family donate new library to Arcadia Bay. Prescott Industries celebrate grand opening. The Prescott's bring bomb shelter boom to town. Nice scrapbook. You search for more clues and I'll scope out the area. Yeah, we're looking for a bird. Or... Something. Yes, old Prescott clippings. But that can't be the only thing here. Even Harry Aaron Prescott was into selfies. Oh, you and your selfies. This place sounds creepy. Still about the perimeter, Max. There has to be more here than this crate. This is not a horror game. Why is it so creepy? Okay. Okay, there's no reason for anybody to drive out here. But there must be. I kind of want to investigate a bit more before I risk finding something that's going to kick me out of here. In case there is a photo op. These hooks are used to lift haystacks. I saw them in a Friday the 13th movie. Nice. Boring. Boring. Hmm. 
Wow, sir. Talk about home on the range. It's a completely different place. This tractor has paid its dues. Hold. So many haystacks, so few needles. So many haystacks, so few needles. No, nothing. Wait, I can search the ground in several places. If a zombie shows up, I have my weapon. I guess the press cuts were just born bastards. I can't read that. What? What? It? Here we go. I'm writing regards to your starting debts. If you chose to ignore, Prescott's may not be established business gentlemen, but we have business and expect our due. Take your silence as a personal insult. Uh, it's written apology. If they're not met by the end of the day, we will make your life a living hell. Nice. So they were always. Um, delightful people. I want to see if there's a way to get up there. But what is this? No more secrets, Sean Prescott. I want to get up there. Is there a way to get up there? That sounded heavy. I'll come back for you. I get the feeling you're something different. Ah, the good old days. <laughs> when things didn't cost a fortune? Yeah. So many haystacks, so few needles. This is definitely something bigger. What's going on under here? Whoa. Hello. What is this? It's totally brand new. Why? No, Supermax. You can't open this with your bare hands. Okay. Okay, Chloe. Um, I, I found some kind of hatch, but it's locked. Ooh. I got this. I hope. Let me know the second you need any help. <sighs> the rope leads up to that platform. Must climb. Do I need to hook the rope on first? Chloe. Can you give me a hand? Give me a boost. Sidekick at your service. Not a girl. Hop, hop and away, Supermax. I dig having minions. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um. Is that what I'm up here for? An old motor. Oh! Careful! Oh, okay. That looks sturdy enough to stand on. So that's what I was doing. Do not fall. Excuse me, I'm smaller than you. I reckon I'll be fine. Oh, I think that's the rope. Let's have a poke around up here first. Anything? Okay. Ow! <gasps> Photo up! I'm sorry. You look really cute! Okay. Here's the other end of the rope. Right, so... Now what? Hey, Chloe. Oh. Can you attach the hook to that padlock? Oh, you are clever. I am all over this. 
I will be done. Then you better step away from that hatch. Why? Well, what are you going to do? Grab the rope and jump? Please tell me that's not what you're going to do. Nope. I can't pull this rope without tearing my flesh off. I need to hook this up to something heavier. Uh... Max, use your rewind and get that motor back up there. Ah, okay. Nope. Needs to go further. This is going to be interesting. Oh, that knot looks so secure. Somebody was never in guides. Okay. Hey, Chloe. Yep, 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 yep. Pull, push. Nice. Max Giver strikes again. Okay. I totally half expected you to go through that. Okay. Secret basement. Damn, this is heavy. Please don't let there be a body down there. Oh! What is this? Jackpot. Please tell me that's Do not I the dark room. Need to see how weird this is. No. Did. Who built this kind of place? A press god, of course. This is giving me serious dragon tattoo flashbacks. I really hope that's not what's going on down here. Like seriously. This bunker is so surreal. Um, this is too heavy to break, so I'll need a code. First a padlock, then a digi code. Someone really doesn't want visitors. I'm not gonna know what code it is, am I? But there was a three-digit code written on one of the bits of paper back wherever oh, and I don't remember what it was do I have it written down some numbers look faded so I just have to get lucky I know there was I definitely remember there being a five in it and I think five was first five two four maybe No nope. wrong code. There we go. Oh yes. I thought that only worked in the movies. I'm glad she pointed out that some of the Oh dude. Stocked and ready for the apocalypse. This must have cost a fortune. Come on. Yeah, as I was saying, I'm glad you pointed out some of the numbers were rubbed off, because I wouldn't have got that. Now what the hell is this? It's an apocalypse bomb shelter, obviously. Whoa. This says it all about Nathan. Let me have a proper look at this. He needs help. Nathan's primary psychiatrist for over five years, I feel I should stop seeing your son, because you have disregarded my rather dire and immediate suggestion for his and others' well-being. You know well the extent of Nathan's challenges, but I feel that you refuse to acknowledge the role you play in his mental health. If I do not have your support, I cannot treat Nathan. It is as simple as that. I fear he is becoming even more disconnected from reality. Even if he acts in a personable manner, you have ignored my request for a consultation with you and your wife, so I have to assume you are no longer interested in my services. Regardless, I care about Nathan and I believe he needs serious help. If you would like to talk about this matter, I am always available, Dr. Jacoby. Wow. 
So he needs help, but his family aren't everything is sketchy as fuck. Nothing about Rachel here. Helping him get the help. Duct tape in a bunker is always a bad sign. True. Oh, this totally like first of all Prescott's in creepy art. This is completely um what? I guess Nathan needs the most expensive printer in the world. Yeah, this is completely Nathan's thing. I, I get that. Oh, look at all this weird shit. Ugh. This has to be the dark room. What? Oh, dude. That's an original signed illustration. Jesus. Fits perfect in here. Son of a bitch. Well, what am I looking at? What? That is a lot of money. Talk about tortured. Yeah. Oh, look at all this weird shit. Chloe, I know. Hush, I'm I'm investigating. There's a cupboard. There's a computer. There's more cupboards. There's crates. I've never seen so much pricey equipment before. So who's using this fancy tripod? And the fan. Jeez. These newspapers are all about Rachel and Kate. Hmm. Somebody likes their whiskey. Jesus, I already hate this place. Yeah. You're not the only one. So, cupboards or computer? I think we'll go for cupboards first. Ah, the Apocalypse Entertainment System. Of course. Oh, the files! So it wasn't the principal that was making those. Come on, let's see what this shit is all about. We are. Okay. A binder marked Victoria, but it's empty. Look, the next one says Kate. Oh no, Kate. No. God, I should have killed that bastard back there. So he brought her here. It wasn't the first. All those binders are filled with other victims. <sighs> Victoria has to be next. Nathan must be planning to dose her tonight at the Vortex Club party. Rachel. Oh dear. These are all these are all post shots, right? Right? Chloe, look at her face. She's out of it. Maybe maybe Nathan paid her a shitload of cash to do this. She probably would have. I don't think so. Why is he putting her in the ground like that? Where? The junkyard. Max, we have to find that spot now. Then then we can see what he did. There's no way she's dead. No way. She posed for those pictures, Max. I know it. Please. Let's go. Um. Dude. Oh my god. Rachel. Kate. All these files. Okay. This place actually feels evil. It does, yeah. I want to quickly look oh. at these. What is going on between Nathan and his father? Stick with the disposable ones I gave you. I don't want to hear you screaming out my name in a public place, which you have stupidly done before. I haven't set all this up and shared my vast wisdom just so you can fuck it up with your teen rage. We can accomplish a lot together, but you have to let me guide you while you're on your own. Dude. This is serious. Let's see what's in here. Oh no. Oh my god. No. 
Okay. Oh, dude. This picture is framed different. Rachel is awake and fucking furious. Rachel has passed out and she has something in her mouth. What happened to her? This shot is so staged. I, I, I can't believe it's real. I can't. That looks like Nathan. God. Okay. Let's go to the junkyard and see if we can find what has happened exactly. If she's been there all that time and Rachel's buried there, can you imagine? Ugh. I really hope that's not the case. Yeah, I got that. Just don't get hit by another train, eh? Look, this is it. This is it. Are you gonna help me, Max? Oh, dude. Chloe, stop. Look. Oh, Please no. Go. Oh, I she's she's down Rachel. there. Oh, Rachel, no, no, please not her. Oh no. Chloe. Rachel, I'm sorry, Chloe. I'm so sorry. I loved her so much. How can she be dead? Oh, what kind of world does this? Who does this? That explains why whatever happened to Rachel disappeared at the same time. Oh, dude. Poor Chloe. Oh, the deer. Hey guys, Rose here. Um, this is Rose from the editing side, not from the gaming side. Um, this episode went on for over an hour, even when I tried to edit it down. And I didn't want to take too much out because I felt like it would lose a lot of the plot. So um, I've inserted a little break here. Um, so yeah, in general, hope you guys have enjoyed this episode as usual. If you have, then give the like button some love, and I'll be back with part two of this um, rather long episode very soon. Bye!